All right, the recording starts. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Softfield Academy's webinar. Um, I am Hannah Tabika Azriel, and we are hosting our um, April webinar. Welcome, first of all, to Dr. Nenad Stankovic. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. <laughs> I would like to also introduce to you my colleague Soraya Adni, who will help at the end of the webinar with the Q&R. Um, the webinar will last approximately one hour, and please ask all of your questions in the chat or in the Q&R. And at the end of the webinar, Soraya will um, do the moderation and ask all of the questions to Dr. Stankovic. We will take time to um answer everything that you might ask i what also wanted <laughs> i i also wanted to tell you that um the webinar is being recorded as usual and it will be available from tomorrow on softfield academy's website um and also we are subtitling the webinar in several languages in case you are not fully fluent in English, don't worry, there will be other languages available for you. Uh, can you switch to the next slide, please? Sure. So welcome, everybody. It is me, Dr. Nan Stankovic. I'm doctor of dental surgery, as well as specialist of cosmetology. And I've been very, very happy first to know these two beautiful girls sitting online with me and the rest of you and i wish to do, you know thank you like a big thank you there's no hug unfortunately like not mm -hmm. right now but just imagine um and because you're here because uh, you're going to hear uh some beautiful stuff here and the first thing is safe technique and of course uh, we chose one area and that is petty oral area which for majority of people is just the lips but actually no it's just like so much more and it's so much uh, more difficult and actually complicated to do but nevertheless let's get started okay when actually we look at the people that are across us the first thing that actually crosses our mind is like wow look beautiful eyes she has of course if she's a woman maybe i would like say to a man but not so much uh and uh, the net the second part of the face actually that the people look are the area around the mouth because we try to read other people's lips because that help us actually understand what they're saying much much easier than if we are let's say turned away on the other side so when we actually speak about the lower part of the body it's very important because it is helping with the pleasant appearance of the face also it is the key to sexual dysmorphism meaning that it defines the female and the male the masculinity and femininity and of course we definitely know from all the um, marvel and dc new universe uh, movies that actually a well contoured jawline, the defined line from the mandibular angle all the way to the chin is desirable, both in man and woman, giving us a perception of a beautiful, beautiful young people that actually have a lot of superpowers as well. And of course, speaking about the sexual dysmorphism, when we divide our face in three different Three, three different uh, parts the upper the mid and the lower part of the face we can definitely see in females okay females that we have all three parts of the face that are uh, ideally ideal meaning completely the same but if we take a look at uh, male here you can see the blue line going a little bit down meaning actually that the favorable length of the lower third in males is actually a little bit more, meaning that the lower part is a little bit longer and that is definitely favorable in men. When we take a look, other side, woo, other side, when we take a look on the left side of the screen, 
um, we can definitely see another thing, and that is the width between first bizygomatic width. This is bizygomatic width, and we have then bigonial width. Okay, this is the width between the gonial angles that we have here. This is the lower part of the mandibule, and this is the uh, ramus mandibula, and the angle between that, it's the gonial angle. So when we actually have the difference in those two widths, in males, that width is not so much different, but in females, the sexual dysmorphism says that there is a quite a difference Specifically here, we have much wider face than in here, and that's very feminine. So, when you want to treat the male and uh, feminize him, you can, you know, see from this how to do it. Unfortunately, we age. We don't like that, uh, but also we gain a lot of experience from, uh, you know, living a longer life. And, of course, uh, the structure changes, the expression changes, the volume, both of the uh, fat and the uh, supporting bony tissue definitely changes. And, of course, the skin on top of that suffers from the laxity because the supporting volume of soft tissue, specifically uh, uh, specifically the fat and of course the bone is actually decreasing and that decreasing uh, is giving the chance for the skin to go down and this is what we call the uh, effect of gravity actually the gravity that does not pull and cause the the laxity but actually it supports that uh, there's the completely uh, like atrophy in the skull of the um, both males and females while we age and that difference can be uh, up to like 10% between the younger and the senior model <laughs> and then you can see here in this um, uh, in this uh, place here that actually the maxilla is turning backwards meaning that is getting smaller, getting backward, and that everything is falling down. That's why we like to inject this part here, the piriform fossa, which gives beautiful results in the area there. And then while we age, also we have, uh, we see here the uh, zygomatic bone, and the uh, surface of the zygomatic bone during the aging as well turns backwards and you can definitely see on the first picture this is the younger patient and this angle this is the uh like vertical line is like what we think about it like that is vertical and then the la the, the the part when we actually uh, have the surface of the, the zygoma is very small in this area but as we age it goes like this it goes like this so it means that we definitely lose the volume here and the supporting volume of the bone as well as the under uh, overlaying uh, deep and superficial fat is actually moving backward and then we see that we definitely need some fillers to do in our patients and that's why they come that's what we also like to do and that's why we learn this as well mm -hmm.